Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and we're also gonna have a look into the Bitcoin dominance and also into the CME chart because with this drop that we have seen yesterday in the lower time frames we have broken some important supports in the bigger time frame everything is still looking quite bullish but uh, let's start here in the four hour because we currently we are trading below the 20 moving average and that of course is a bit bearish at least here for the lower time frames so as long as we're trading here now below the 20 moving average in the four hour and we're closing these four hour candles below i'm expecting here a potential drop towards at least here the 50 moving average at $22,000 and maybe even lower towards the 200 moving average which currently is coming very close to our previous resistance of 20k and now it could be acting as a new support. So let's see if today or tomorrow we're gonna see such a drop and such a retest of this 20k to confirm it as a new support and then bounce again to the upside because this is going to be very very important if Bitcoin is gonna head into a bigger correction way below 20k or if we set here a base at 20k and then bounce to the upside and potentially reach then our target of around $30,000 maybe within this year. Also if we have a look here into the RSI you can see that currently we are trading right at the 50 level so we should see a big bounce from it otherwise if we start to correct it to the downside you can see that we have a lot of room left so if Bitcoin is not able to close again for our candles above both $23,000 so both the 20 moving average I think we will head towards 20k where then we're gonna see if we have a new support here or not and if we have a look into the Bollinger Bands you can see that currently we are still trading here on the bottom area and also we are still in this tiny channel I'm expecting here a breakout from the Bollinger Band pretty soon potentially to the downside and in that case we could see the price going again towards this 20k target that we have here for the bearish scenario here in the lower time frames we also have all the indicators shifted to the downside stochastic is currently oversold so here maybe we could see one last push here to the upside to test this $23,000 area potentially even go higher to confirm again this new resistance here at around 24,000 and then have the correction towards 20k so we just have to see in the next couple of hours what the price will do and if we're gonna see such a push here towards $24,000 or not it is possible based here on the stochastic but all the other indicators are now shifted to the downside and we should see here a big dump at least towards this 20 area and if we go now over into the daily time frame here you can see that in the daily we are still looking very bullish and here we should expect a bounce to the upside pretty soon because yesterday as you can see we exactly bottomed out here at the nine daily moving average and this usually acted always as a very strong support during this uptrend that we had here since we bottomed out in March. So the nine day moving average is a very important moving average to hold and as long as we're closing daily candles above this moving average, so currently above $22,000, we should expect the price to go higher and higher. Only if we are starting to close daily candles below this price level, we could be heading towards this 20 daily moving average, which currently is right at 20K, our next bearish target. And if this one will not hold and watch out here for the 50 daily, 100 and also 200 daily moving average so the range is here between $18,000 and $13,000 everything is possible between these moving averages I don't think that we will go lower than 15 to $14,000 but based here in the daily time frame it is possible that we could even drop towards the 200 daily moving average retest this area and then bounce again to the upside but since Bitcoin is looking so bullish and currently we are seeing a lot of FOMO coming in I don't think that we will go way below $15,000. I think that is really the worst case scenario for now. So as long as we're closing these daily candles at least above the 9 day or 20 daily moving average we should be gearing still here to the upside and potentially break this 24,000 resistance pretty soon and head towards our next potential bullish target of $30,000. 
The only problem is that since we had this drop yesterday, we are now again testing here this nine day moving average today. And the more we are testing this moving average, the weaker it gets. And this of course could lead into a breakout to the downside. And then of course this 20K should hold as a support. We have currently RSI and also my own indicator very overbought and we should expect here a correction at least down to the 50 level in the RSI. And there we're gonna see if we're gonna see a big bounce from it or not. So the daily currently, even though it's still looking bullish, we have some warning signs that we could see an incoming dump here pretty soon towards our next bearish target of $20,000. And if we have a look here into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we are trading right at the first moving average. And if this one is getting broken, we will come down to the midline of the 20 daily moving average right at 20K. And here the bottom is currently at $16,400. So I think it is very likely that we're gonna come down to this price level down here if 20K will not hold. So watch out here for the $16,000 area because I think this this will also be a very important support if 20k will not hold. But the even more important support areas are in the weekly time frame because here you can clearly see the 9 weekly and 20 weekly moving average which currently are here right at $18,500 and here at $14,700. So if Bitcoin is going to have a major correction then watch out for these two price levels. They're going to be very important in order to keep the trend to the upside only if we will have a weekly close below one of these two moving averages. I think this could be leading into a major correction even way below $14,000. But since we are after the halving and Bitcoin is looking so bullish, I don't think that we're gonna see such a scenario. So if we're gonna have a major correction, I think we're gonna bottom out at one of these two important price levels. And why I still think that we could see such a correction is really because we are still very overbought in the daily and also here in the weekly time frame. You can see the RSI right now at an 85 level and also in my own indicator you can see that we are now very overextended since weeks right now. We don't have a sell signal right now but it could happen pretty soon and that's why I have already a lot of buy orders set here right between $18,600 down to $14,500 because I think the Bitcoin price could reach easily these price levels down here, set another bottom here, confirm the new support and then have another big leg to the upside which potentially will break immediately 24,000 and potentially even go straight towards 30k and even higher. So overall Bitcoin is still looking very bullish and we should expect here to go into new levels way above $24,000 in the very close future. The question is only if we're gonna have first here another pullback towards one of these two important moving averages then create a new bottom and then have a big bounce from it. And that's why my friends make sure that you're ready to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible and if you're trading over on Bybit or Femex also to scale in some nice long positions you can also open up some longs without leverage to be safe so even if we would see a major drop below these two important price levels you can easily keep alive your trade and you will not get liquidated because your liquidation price will be way way lower the current price levels and since Bitcoin is in a confirmed bull run it is a very good idea to try to scale in as much longs as possible and if you still need an account over on Bybit or Femex then make sure to use my invitation links down below here because with my links you will get some extra bonus currently $90 on Bybit and $80 on Femex and next to that of course you support the channel and if you don't want to trade at your own but you also want to get as much gains as possible when we go up and when we go down then try out Prime XPT because here you can easily copy trade other traders so for example these top traders over here currently has over 3000% in gains so here if you use my invitation link down below here you can easily just create an account without KYC nothing just register with your email then you can top up some Bitcoin over here and then just click here on follow and automatically you will be copy trading these traders. So like this, even with a small amount of money, you could do some very nice gains if you catch the right traders. So definitely go and try it out if you are interested in Prime XPT. 
The sign up link is down below here in the video description. All right, my friends. And before we are wrapping this up, we're going to have a look into the Bitcoin dominance quickly, because as you can see right now, Bitcoin is pushing here above the 67% resistance. So this is really not looking good for the altcoins, because if the Bitcoin dominance here is going to break out to the upside, potentially towards 75 or maybe even 80%, then we're going to see a lot of altcoins bleeding because a lot of money from altcoins will float into Bitcoin and that of course is good for Bitcoin but very bad for altcoin hodlers. So when the Bitcoin dominance is breaking out here to the upside it will be good to stay in Bitcoin and not to be in altcoins. So if you have big altcoin bags then make sure to be ready for that scenario that we could see here right now a big spike in the Bitcoin dominance and like that you would have a lot of opportunity costs because you are not sitting in Bitcoin. So be very careful if you have big altcoin bags. Currently it looks like that we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside in the Bitcoin dominance and the next target could be here the 75% area. So I think this week and the next coming weeks will be very interesting both for the Bitcoin and also for the altcoins and keep also in mind that we still have some CME gaps below of us. So here you can see the several CME gaps that still are opened. I don't think that we will go to fill all of them, but at least those here at $18,000 and $17,000 are still very likely to get filled. So if the price is again coming down towards this 20K area, I think it is very likely that maybe we also gonna see a week below towards 18 or 17 thousand dollar to also confirm this previous resistance trend line over here that now should be acting as a new support and this one is currently lining up here at around 15 thousand dollar so that's why my friends be ready for all scenarios be ready if the price is having a dump but also be ready if bitcoin is just going towards to the moon without any bigger correction because by now you should have accumulated enough bitcoin and if not then just dca in every week and like that you also should be doing quite profitable for the future and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel very important i do daily ta videos and if you want more of this crypto stuff and want to be always updated make sure to follow me also over on twitch where i do the live streams and also join our free discord trading chat also the link is down below here in the video description and this is also where you can get access to my own indicator live stream which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye